Hey everybody, welcome to a cold Monday edition of Mac and Cheese. It's finally getting to be like winter out there. It's pretending like it might actually snow, so we might have a little bit of a white Christmas. Let's hope. If we don't have some Christmas and some snow sometime, we're not going to have any crops next year out here, and we're all going to be eating uh, old, nasty potatoes. Because they ain't going to be able to grow any next year if they ain't got no water. So, anyway, Mac and Cheese Monday. We're going to look at this little Mac that we got here a couple weeks ago. It's that 1010 automatic. We rebuilt the carb. It runs, kind of. It's, uh, it's hard to start. It's like it's losing the prime. So, uh, we got a fuel filter and a fuel line for it. Because if that fuel line's cracked, you won't get, uh, you know, it doesn't get good suction. Won't pull a prime. For those of you that don't know, that's what the fuel line in a 1010 looks like. There's a little filter, little fuel filter, a felt one. And that wire is not stock. I had an idea, maybe I can pop that down through the fuel tank because it's got to go in through the fuel tank and out through that hole right there. Right there, you can stick her through the cap, pull it through that hole. You can't see in the picture, I'm sure, but this is leaking gas out that hole. That's a that's a pretty common thing for these 1010s, especially when that if it's seen any ethanol or it's just been sitting for a long time, that rubber shrinks and that's what plugs that bulkhead up. So hopefully, at the very least, it'll stop that gas from being running all over the place and yeah, maybe it'll actually make it start. It, it seems like it wants to run pretty good. The piston looks nice inside, so we'll cross our fingers and hope that fixes it. Uh, it's getting near, like I say, it's getting a little Christmassy looking out there. So I thought for the cheese today, we'd talk a little bit about Santa. You know, everybody worries about economy and fuel economy in their pickups and their cars and everything else and got me to wondering you know wonder if anybody's ever done a, a fuel economy audit on Santa sleigh uh, I did a lot of research I got on the North Pole Institute of fuel economy and this is what I found on an average night it only costs Santa it only takes him eight bucks to pull that sleigh. On a bad night, it takes nine. I hope you're all having a good week. Get out there, make it a better week. Hopefully we get some snow and I can stay on the road and we don't have to do another video fixing the town car. So, uh, glad to see y'all. Thanks to all the new subscribers. You guys know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and, you know, Maybe YouTube will pay a little bit of attention to us. And go out and get you some.